the states are producing very aromatic hops and that has influenced the whole of the craft brewing uh, worldwide movement. You build on what other people have done because actually the American craft beer revolution essentially was influenced by small craft brewers in the UK and regional brewers like ourselves. But actually they then took it a stage further and they developed some really interesting uh, beers. I mean the classic IPA is actually based on the British India Pale Ale which they then took and developed, made it more bitter, made it more aromatic. We've now taken that back across the Atlantic and are creating our own versions of IPA. So it goes, it's a very iterative process. I mean, hops used to be something you, you added as part of the ingredient for bitterness, really. But I think hops now you're looking, you know, you're looking for the different aromas, what they give to the beer. Whereas before it was very traditional ales. It wasn't about the hops. It was around the malt and the sweetness. So it's made it, you know, it's a real difference. And I think uh, hop growers, uh, hop merchants are, are feeling that as well. The demand for hops is, is you know, is bigger than it's ever been. Hop sort of uh, revolution in the last 10 years, it's, it's took off and, you know, and, and I think what you find is everybody's an expert in brewing you know, these days, but people, you know, the great thing is people want to know about it, they want to know about the, the ingredients, so there's a lot of knowledge, you know, people will drink a beer and they'll say, they'll say what hop you know, was in that beer, and 10 years ago they would never have done that, they would say it's a nice beer or, or, or it isn't. So. I think the uh, knowledge in wine, for example, of, of a, a grape type, which is what people will often shop for, I think you're now seeing some of that knowledge transfer into beer. So I like a citra hopped beer. I like a uh, Amarillo hopped beer, which again is called out on the label, which is something that's relatively new to the market. I think that is what's helping beer's growth, uh, certainly in the speciality arena, because people are now understanding more about how it's made and what the process is.
I think the craft beer revolution has very much made people aware of and very interested in what you can do with beer and its role in cocktails. Um, we're talking about different flavour profiles. We're talking about really interesting flavours that the craft beer revolution seems to have opened up to us. If you've got interesting flavours to play with, play with them in cocktails.